Hello all, my name is Kantila Chandre. I am a program owner for data science at Student Tool. In last video, we have seen the types of machine learning algorithm. In this video, we are going to learn the one most important uh, machine learning algorithm, which is linear regression. Okay. So the first of all, this regression word is nothing but to that means continuous variable. If we have a data set, okay. And this data set having a target variable, this is the y, and it is in a continuous form. Continuous form. So we can go for the regression algorithm. Okay. So basically, data is two types. One is a numerical data, numerical data, and one is a categorical data. Okay. So numerical data again divided into two types. discrete and what continuous continuous the categorical data divided into two types nominal nominal and ordinal okay so its name is this discrete means having a some interval okay continuous means having a this continuous values for example we can take the salary temperature a uh, budget the total sale this is a continuous form in discrete means they have only some interval for example number of dependents or uh, then we can say uh, the number of group these are the what discrete term. in categorical we have nominal and ordinal nominal is what it signing this a nominal some colors these are the nominal values ordinal they have they have some or uh, others suppose your graduation uh, suppose uh, we can say the uh, grades so these are can be orders so when we have this continuous feature in a target so we can go for the what regression algorithm so basically when we plot the independent feature so basically this slr and mlr these are the two types of linear regression so in slr there is simple linear regression we have only one independent independent feature and obviously one dependent feature okay so in mlr there are multiple independent features are there and only one features okay so here in regression if we try to plot a graph between independent feature and dependent feature so this graph will make it this like this so this is a obviously it's a assumption if you want to implement the linear regression to first of all that uh, the variable should be in a linear regression then you can use this linear regression having linear regression okay again the relation we can measure into three that means if the both variable have the positive relation okay this is the negative relation that means one variable increasing the other variable is decreasing so we can say it's a negative correlation it's a positive correlation if they don't have any relation so it's a polynomial relation okay so here suppose this x and y x is our independent feature y is our dependent feature having some relation and if you plot this points and we try we or m in linear regression we try to find this best fit line best fit line Okay, so we know that the line equation is y is equal to m x plus. So here m is nothing but what slope and c is nothing but intersect. Fine. Slope is nothing but what this unit change. That means the x changes by some unit. How the y affect? Is nothing but the slope. And the c is means This line cut, this where this line cut, it's that means intersect. Okay, so here to find the base fit line, we need to draw the number of lines. We need to draw number of lines. So line which gives the minimum error. So here error or we can say 
cos function or loss or sum of squared error these are some techniques to measure the error so what is mean by exactly error so error is nothing but the distance between this actual points and this predicted points so the line which is under minimum error that line we can select as a basic line okay so to find this m basically we need to find this m actually to find this m we can use a gradient descent so that means a convergence theorem we can say so this convergence theorem means what yes so to to find base that means the minimum global minimum so here suppose here is m and if we are plotting the, the graph in p that means against p p is error and we change the m so we'll get this parabolic shape so this point where this error is minimum so we can select that m value for a line duration so this is what the that means a brief idea about the linear regression okay so this is the thing the gradient descent so in here we need to find this global minimum okay so by mathematically how we can find the global minimum we'll see in the next video okay we'll see in, in and depth about the linear regression with the mathematics okay so thank you very much for watching this video uh, like share subscribe thank you